Here we are entering the Flexon uh, facilities where uh, we are producing the 40 membranes for uh, one sales. The 44th is a technology to build sales, is a technology that combines the needs of a sale that must be light, durable, strong, with a very good shape holding that has been developed in collaboration with the engineer Per Carlo Molta and the company exclusively for One Sales. My background is coming from the mechanical engineering uh, developed in this area of Italy, which is a very important textile district since hundreds of years. So this way, yeah, I found a way to join my passion for sailing. It was the chance to start several development in products uh, especially in uh, composite uh, membranes, which means to uh, move from classical laminates or fabrics uh, to build uh, the sails and move to a material which is designed in any single parts and uh, small uh, thin layers to have a, a target that we decided to design it for it. It's about uh, at least uh, 30 years that uh, I uh, dedicated uh, part of my expertise uh, to the sail making in high performance sales membrane and uh, things uh, correlated to this. We are producing the 40 membranes for uh, one sales and I will just have a look around to see the, uh, an overview of what, uh, what we are doing. We have, uh, uh, the, the two offices, here we have the designer office where we are controlling and verifying the structures for the production. Mi chiamo Mauro Giusti, sono il responsabile del pianale e dei progetti che vanno poi in produzione, quindi mi occupo del controllo della fibratura, del layout, della struttura, della quantità, delle disposizioni, tutti i disegni che mi vengono inseriti nei vari ordini, io gli faccio un filtro per controllare che tutto sia nel modo migliore quantità, distribuzione per poi entrare in lavorazione. Un altro aspetto del mio lavoro è controllare la forma della vela, lo shape, il design che mi viene mandato per ottimizzare al meglio la struttura su di essa. Mario Giusti è il production manager at the production plant and uh, he came up with some very novel ideas which he had tested on uh, and used on at a smaller scale which we verified in our strain map or the stress map of our virtual wind tunnel which includes the structure. Il progetto era molto importante, molto complesso e quindi è stato coinvolto vari disegnatori di varie velerie, credo fossimo un gruppo di 10 persone, di cui alla fine e ovviamente la decisione finale, almeno sulla struttura, era la mia e quella di Peter Bresna, mentre sulla, sulla forma, sulla geometria, sul disegno era ovviamente di altri i disegnatori con più esperienza della mia e comportare un paio di mesi per progetto per ogni vela. The full project is five sails and we have a main sail, the jib, the stay sail that are made of 40 and as well we have what we call the PFR that is in between a Code Zero and a Genaker. That one as well is made with 40. And the fifth sail is a Genaker, a downwind sail, so it's the IFS. That means that we have a normal shaped Genaker without any cable, but it's furling because the laugh is still soft, very soft, 
but has the fibers inside and so he creates by himself a sort of lens in the laugh that is giving the furling ability to the same. What is a special feature of the 4T are related to a basic choice on the composition of the membrane, uh, which is to use a continuous structure. So we are not assembling a sail, uh, joining or stitching together pieces on panels, but we produce a membrane, which will be the body, and uh, all the threads are moving from one corner to the other, or anyway, to the path that we decided that the structure needs to be reinforced getting lighter and efficient structure in comparison of other technologies we use to just join together panels. O4T the technology is our top technology, is the pinnacle of our production, is what we offer of course every time there is the need of some sort of performances. Other technology is missing some of the peculiarities of O4T. The structural engineering of the sail demonstrated that we could produce a sail that resisted all of the virtual engineering challenges that we put upon the sail membrane. We carried out numerous what we call fluid structure interaction runs, which is essentially you put the sail with the boat in a virtual wind tunnel, apply loads, and the, the graphics showed that the sail resisted those loads incredibly well. So, that bodes well for the longevity. The first uh, step in production is uh, the cutting of the panels. So after the design, we came here and we, the designer launched on the computer of the plotting system and uh, here is the are prepared the panels for the base skin of the membranes. Allora, io sono Henry, mi occupo del plotter e del controllo della qualità dei tessuti. Adesso vi faccio vedere un po' quello di cui mi occupo. Uh, la prima fase del mio lavoro consiste nel magazzino, quindi mi occupo di etichettare tutte le, uh, le membrane che arrivano per tipologia di tessuto, colore e struttura. Fatto questo, carichiamo sulla macchina e, mentre, e, poi, diamo il via, e poi diamo il via al plotter. Okay. Una volta montato il tessuto sulla macchina, facciamo il nesting. Dato il via al nesting, diamo il via alla macchina. Poi c'è la fase di controllo. Controllo che uh, non ci siano imperfezioni di nessun tipo, quindi nessun tipo di grinza, buco, macchie, niente del genere. Controlliamo. La fase successiva consiste nel controllare che il plotter disegni nel posto giusto. Dopodiché, una volta che il plotter ha tagliato, facciamo questi rotolini che andiamo a mettere qua, che è dove poi dopo verranno i ragazzi a prenderli. Mettiamo la scheda in ordine di priorità e dopo passiamo la palla a loro. Eh, piacere, mi chiamo Mattia e sono il responsabile del pianale. Controllo la produzione dopo eh, il taglio, che è il primo passaggio. Il secondo passaggio dopo il taglio è selezionare una vela, eh, che in questo caso si trovano qui le schede relative alle vele, dove possiamo vedere tutti i dettagli tecnici, possiamo, eh, possiamo seguire tutta la produzione. Una volta presa la scheda, semplicemente ora io ho già iniziato una vela. Allora, io ho già iniziato una vela, quindi la parte iniziale semplicemente sono i vari pannelli messi assemblati uno con l'altro grazie a un biadesivo, la vela prenderà la forma necessaria. A 
Allora, eh, ora stiamo facendo le, run, eh, le vele del, del Wally 100 che sono abbastanza impegnative dato la, la grandezza della vela. Ciò nonostante applichiamo comunque lo stesso metodo di tutte le altre vele. Semplicemente essendo più grandi risulta essere un po' più laboriosa come cosa. Ciò nonostante la produzione sta venendo bene perché applicando lo stesso metodo comunque non abbiamo dovuto cambiare niente e sta venendo in maniera impeccabile. The other development related to the 4T is the fiber, the materials that constitute its structure, which is unique because we are the only one in the world who will be able to laminate and use this reinforcement fiber using a melting matrix which is going to melt, fuse inside the laminates and make the, the stability of the membrane with this inside this structure with this special fiber. So now we are entering the core area of the production where the le main structure uh, fibers layout are laid down on the membranes. The sails are prepared with intermediate accessories and layers, button pockets and reinforcement and so on. So we can have an, an overview of the advanced production for different membranes. Allora, una volta finita la lavorazione, una volta applicato le varie passate, le varie fibre, alla struttura e una volta ricoperta la struttura con il materiale solitamente della base e passiamo al forno dove le vele vengono cotte e in modo che tutta la struttura venga unificata, venga saldata insieme. So when uh, the curing processing has been terminated by this area of the facilities. The membranes are taken out from the vacuum bag and started the final quality control with measuring and everything to check it's okay and then prepare it for the delivery to the lofts. The beginning of the 4T technology is coming from my experience of closing the containers of the sales in the America's Cup. We are looking for products that are not for short period. We are looking for years, maybe 10 years or even more years of lasting. I was adding to the task of finding an alternative, also give a look to do something that is more eco-friendly, let's say, would be the ideal. Selecting the different material properly to have the performances first on one side and not going out from the family of the polyethylene materials that can be used to, to produce our technology, we get a material that was uniform, that can be easily recycled. And this is one of the key of sustainability. My main passion and motivation for me is to produce a sale that will last the test of time. Five, 10, 15 years down the line, 20 years down the line, still be used. That's the perfect answer to sustainability. How do we make something sustainable? So, as well as performance and aesthetics, the sustainability aspect is very, very important. Everything is made today to be thrown away in a year, two years, three years. And for me, that's criminal. We have to start thinking in a much more sustainable way and sustainable means it's got to last really long. We are on the forefront because we, for years, we were a joke for our competitors because we were working also on sustainability. 10 years ago, 11 years ago, the sensibility about sustainability was very little. Luckily and finally, nowadays, the world is changing. The new generation are way more sensible. And so in the phase of choosing uh, which product we are going to purchase, to put a heavier weight 
on the sustainability than what we have been doing in the past. The 4T technology came out to be something that is light, is durable and is also recyclable. So it's 15 years that uh, the process started, but uh, the result uh, we, we got, uh, we are very proud of that. When the single piece membrane arrives from Italy, there's obviously a quality control process. It's a quality control process of each of the membranes that enter through the door. Change the construction of the bells, inclining them more towards the composites. The small details are important, and the color is one of them. 